Well, the magic I'm about to perform for you is uh, something that you've never seen before. I'm using principles that are used in manufacturing, that are used in quality engineering, and I'm melding them with theater. When an audience sees a magic trick, they think, well, how did they do that? When a magician sees an illusion that they don't understand, to them, that's a problem to solve. And their first reaction is, what did I miss? And then the second thing they say to themselves is, how can I recreate it? I show you how to have a relentless approach to continuous improvement. I filmed the act 92 times in the past 30 days. And each time, I wanted to improve one thing. So you fooled us. <gasps> the value I bring to my audience is to think like a magician. And I found out that I was missing three major elements. Time, place, and character. And once we figured that out, the act got noticed. Stuart McDonald! Stuart McDonald! Here are the whimsical workings of Stuart McDonald. The reason why you don't see a lot of good magicians is because we are lone wolves. We are not supposed to tell our secrets. I decided to make my act an open source. I developed a team. And some of these are engineers, some of these people are uh, uh, actually from Broadway, uh, Broadway production designer, uh, magicians, neighbors, anybody that would watch my act. Now the funny thing is, is that nobody wants to criticize a performer because our egos are so fragile. So I, I couldn't ask somebody, did you like my act? And if, if I said that, I was always get the answer, it was great! But I needed to change the question because I needed more answers. I needed to get to the problem of the act because it really wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. So I changed the question to, what bothered you? And one of the final takeaways is I teach you how to tell a better story. And Tobin asked me a lot of whys. And the first question was, why are you wearing a purple suit? And I said, it looked nice in the display. <laughs> whether it's magic, whether it's business, family, organizing your wood shop, it doesn't matter. Because if you do that, unintentional benefits will follow you. My unintentional benefit was not to be on Penn & Teller. It was to be in the World Championships of Magic. And you see the results here. So use these principles. They will work. If you want to learn more about me, just go to my website at stuartmcdonaldmagic.com. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you real soon.